video will guide you on effortlessly finding and accessing call recordings while utilizing the interaction overview in Genesis Cloud. By the end of this video, you'll be able to effectively use the interaction overview to gain insights and improve your customer interactions. Okay, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. To access the interaction menu, click Performance, Workspace. From there, select Interactions under the Contact Center section. It's important to note that this option may not be visible to users without the necessary permissions. Typically, supervisors and admin have required permissions to access this feature. You can filter your metrics by date or create a custom date range using presets. When working with a specific view, simply choose any custom date range up to one month. To use presets for filtering metrics, click on the date to open the date filter. From the list of presets, select the date option that fits your needs. You can use filters to narrow down your search. To filter your interactions based on media type, look for the filter icon and click on it. Choose the media type you want to filter by from the available options. When filtering, you can select more than one media type. Click the relevant media type to select or deselect the type. If you select voice, for example, the callback option will be deselected because you cannot select the voice and callback types at the same time. To search for interactions of a custom duration, select Custom Duration and use the controls to set a custom duration. You can use the From and To filters in Genesis Cloud to find specific conversations from specific customers based on their email address or phone number. There is also an option to customize the interaction view to show only certain data. For example, you can choose to show only certain columns or filter to see certain types of interactions. Your customization remain as you navigate from view to view or leave and return to a view. You can also save your filter and column settings as a saved view to quickly switch between different data of interest in the same view. I find it useful to have the conversation ID included in my interactions view and if I need to share it with someone, I can easily copy it from here. To provide some additional context, Conversation ID in Genesis Cloud is a unique identifier assigned to each interaction or conversation. It serves as a digital fingerprint for a specific interaction. So if someone, for example, shares a Conversation ID with you, you can search for it in Filters, paste it, and Genesis will find that specific conversation for you so that you can start listening. And finally, this is how the interaction overview looks like. Once you click the row of the interaction that you want to play back, the interaction opens and the top of the page includes a visual representation of the selected interaction. Click play to play the interaction and click pause to stop the interaction playback. You can also control each participant's volume. So in the interaction overview here at the top of the page, click the customer or internal participant's volume icon and simply adjust it to the appropriate volume. Here's an option to annotate the interaction recording to mark a point on the recording for future reference. So first pause the recording at the time you want to annotate and in the add annotation field, add a comment, and then click Annotate. You cannot edit or delete annotations from the user in a case. The information under Interaction Metrics might vary depending on the license your company has, but if you have the right set of permissions, you will have the option to download this recording. So click Download, choose the file format, click Download again, and that should be it. Thank you for watching this video on Interactions in Genesis Cloud. And if you would like to learn more about interactions or anything else Genesis Cloud related, um, Star Telecom 
provides training as a professional service, so feel free to reach out. You can find more information here in this video's description. Have a great day.